Ladies and gentlemen, the countdown has begun. Game number three of this tiebreaker series. I stand corrected from earlier. Forsen versus TSL Hyun is now going to be played. And it looks like the map is going to be on Daybreak. This is the last game in the Group G tiebreak. If Forsen beats TSL Hyun once again, they would have beaten each other once. And another round of tiebreaks might end up having to take place. I don't know what the procedure is. I will find out with the admins afterwards. However... If Hyun beats Forsen, then Hyun has beaten both Forsen and Sasi and will definitely advance to the round of 16. So let's get into the game and find out what's going to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a ZVZ, I believe my first one of the day actually, we are going to be signing in on Daybreak in the top right corner of the map, spawning as the red Zerg player. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to have none other than Forsen. And going up against him, the winner of the previous game, will Hyun be able to take this game as well and advance into the round of 16. Let's find out. These tiebreakers are incredibly close and they are best of ones. It's going to be T.S.L. Hyun. So excellent stuff coming out from all of the players in this group. Uh, Sase doing a tremendous job but falling to Hun previously after beating Forzen. So now things are going to come down to this ZVZ. I believe uh, Sase beat Forsen, so if Forsen also loses to TSL Hyun, Sase might go through as well. But I will confirm that after this game is over, and even then, that's only if TSL Hyun wins. Forsen has beaten Hyun before, will he be able to do it again? I don't know. These guys, of course, have met in many, many tournaments, and actually we see a 9 pool going down for TSL Hyun. And is this going to be a double extractor trick? At least one of them is. It looks like the other one might be for speed. We'll have to wait and see. But the 9 pull is definitely going down here for TSL Hyun. And will Forsen be able to respond to it correctly? It looks like he's sending a drone for a hatch. And in this best of one, that could be potentially huge. He's not actually sending out a drone scout at the moment. That Overlord scout is going to see the Zerglings oh so late. The gas does finish. So we're going to see super, super quick speedlings come out of here from TSL Hyun. And will it be enough? Forsen is in a very dicey situation right now, and he does not even know it yet. We have 50 gas and counting. TSL Hyun is counting down the seconds until he can research speed, but the first six slings, the first eight slings now, are already going to be out on the field. And there they go, exploding forth from their eggs and going to be marching across daybreak. And Forzen is in a world of trouble right now. He needs to find a way to stop these Zerglings. The problem is his pool has only just started, and now the Overlord sees the lings. So Forza knows exactly what's up. 100 gas has indeed been gathered. Metabolic Boost is researching now for TSL Hyun. The pool still only 50% complete for Forza as more and more Zerglings are going to be streaming out across the map. First Queen also coming out for TSL Hyun so he can get additional larva. And the expansion is indeed cancelled by Forza. He's going to try and hold this at home. The current work account is 18 to 11 in Forza's favor. But he's going to have a nice bit of time where the Zerglings are going to be able to do nothing. But attack these drones. A nice drone drill there. Uh, it looks like Forsen is not going to be able to mine for quite a long time. But more and more Zerglings coming in now. And TSL Hyun is deciding he wants to engage. Forsen running away with all his drones. He has links coming out. But speed is nearly finishing for TSL Hyun now as well. So many drones getting destroyed at the moment. And oh my goodness. The supplies are neck and neck. 21 to 18. TSL Hyun doing his best to continue putting on the pressure to Forsen. And he actually only has two more links behind this so perhaps he is going to be macroing up and going something else behind let's wait and see he has 13 drones of force in compared to the 11 from TSL Hyun but it looks like TSL Hyun is going to be going for round number two he is not going to sit back and try and go into a normal game he's going to try and finish this right now and that spine crawler and queen are going to try their best to say no to this game could be over very quickly indeed so the number of workers we have right now, 13 to 11, as mentioned before. 23 links versus 5. There is a spine crawler in the mineral line, though, and a queen apiece. Let's wait and see if TSL Hyun is going to be able to take this game right now or not. Spine crawler in the mineral line, but Hyun, with speed already done, just going to take out as many drones as he possibly can. The queen getting almost surrounded there, and it looks like Hyun is not going to be able to do quite enough damage to end the game immediately. He is at 26 supply, 2 forces, 22 now, though, and it looks like TSL Hyun has equalized, at the very least, a drone count. More Zergling streaming in, down to 11. 
11 drones now for Forsen, and all of a sudden TSL Gian has taken the drone lead, and I think that might be enough to clinch the game for TSL Gian. What amazing aggression coming out of here from our Korean Zerg player. Forsen, unfortunately, not going to be able to win this game, and TSL Gian looking like he is going to be advancing to the round of 16, 17 to 14 drones in favor of Hyun, and he is still at home. Is he going to be streaming more units out? Let's find out. No, he's actually droning up now, so he feels he's done enough damage. And did I call that game too early? Forsen is definitely behind now. He had to build a spine crawler in the mineral line, and finally he's got his metabolic boost down as well, but Hyun is feeling in such a good position right now. If we take a look, finally the drones are even at 17 to 17, but Hyun got his speed so much early, he forced the spine crawler out of Forsen as well. The queen went down. Hyun is in a commanding position, and he's actually taken his hatchery as well. So uh, maybe the game shouldn't have ended quite that early. I may have called that early. Apologize for that. But Hyun is definitely in such a strong position at this stage in the game. That relentless aggression with those Zerglings to start off with coming off of that 9 pull was incredible against Forsen. Let's see if he can make it stick throughout the rest of this game. This Overlord, of course, from Forsen is going to see the TSL Hyun has made an expansion hatchery. So now it's down to Forsen to try and put a little bit of pressure on the Korean Zerg, but will he be able to do as much? Once the hatchery completes, we should be getting some spy crawlers down on the low ground as well, which would definitely cement Hyun's position as not bad as far as this game is concerned. Queen going to try and take out this Overlord, but we do have some Zergling versus Zergling action while the Queen is watching. Here we go. More links coming out from Hyun now, and I think with the help of the Queens, he should more or less be okay here. This Queen's still focusing down the Overlord, and that's because it actually will get it. Forsen now at 26 of 20. 26 play he is unable to build more zerglings as it currently stands but the baneling nest is coming out and let's wait and see how much good that does tsl Hyun with the baneling nest already complete and we don't actually have a baneling nest in four since half of the map at the moment he is only starting to take his expansion himself and uh, tsl Hyun gonna try and exert his authority over this game of 40 supply to 27. Banelings now being morphed, and I'm afraid Forsen has no answer to these Banelings. He doesn't have a Baneling nest of his own. He's only just starting one up in the main base, and I fear that TSL Hyun is going to have a tremendous timing here against Forsen. Let's wait and see what happens. Zergling on Zergling action, but now Banelings are going to be walking into the base, and Forsen must be feeling a little bit disheartened now. He has no Banelings of his own to defend with, and oh, one Baneling hit could do so much damage right now. Excellent Micro with the Spine Crawler, able to kill one of those Banelings, but more Zerglings getting into the mineral line, and a Baneling hit! Very nice on all of those drones, and so many drones going down now for Forsen. 45 to 22 supply, TSL Hyun now double the supply of his opponent, and it looks like that Zergling, with its dying breath, takes out the Spine Crawler, and more Lings flying into the natural. This game is about to be over, ladies and gentlemen. TSL Hyun is going to be advancing to the round of 16 with a victory over Forsen here. 46 supply to 21 and more Banelings morphing in the mineral line. There is not too much more he can do about it. Will he be able to take out that last Baneling? Not quite, and the Baneling does actually succeed in morphing in, and it looks like he's going to be heading straight for the mineral line. Will this Zergly get there in time? Oh, he does get there in time, but only just in another wave of Zerglings is now going to be popping in. TSL Hyun continuously making Banelings now, and I don't actually think there is a way back. All the drones getting killed. Let's take a look. The work supply is 23 to 10. Huge balls for that 9 pool. GG coming up from Forzin, and it looks like Hyun is going to take game number 3 and go through to the round of 16. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jarasar. I'm going to find out who's coming in second or whether Forzin is going to have to play Sase again, because Sase has already beaten Forzin, so if that means Sase goes through to second place. I'll let you know in just a moment after this commercial break.